couple clips to review what happened in day three. Every day has been really good uh, as we take a look at these highlights. I mean, every day I think we've... Maybe I've never been surprised at, you know, what number of highlights we've had. This one is, oh, Secret LGD, that's how we kicked off day three. Of course, both teams battling for first place in Group A. Yeah, this was the fight that we were discussing, that they thought they were stronger with the BKB and the Gyro. They tried to initiate with the Tiny where they didn't have to take the fight, right? They could have just split push and just continue farming the whole map and just defend high ground, but they chose to take a fight outside of their base. Yeah, and this is the same matchup game two. I actually don't know if they saw the BKB in the prior fight because they kind of relocated right on top of them, but... Yeah, oh, yeah, on the SF as well. Yeah, on the SF. Yeah, of course, game two, the story was maybe his last just going completely crazy. Oh, yeah, this, they, this is kind of a split they up fight. They the Echo Slam on the lone bounty. I think they thought that they could get in and get out. I don't know that... The, I, I don't think that they knew that the anti-mage was so far on the left. I thought that yeah, probably. he was on the right side of the team. So they were just going to pick one off, retreat, but then EG counter-engage as soon as they blew ultimates on to the bounty hunter. Yeah, and then they just pushed them all back in. I mean, they, Empire had a really good start this game. Like, Storm had a 15 minute Bloodstone, 16 minute, but then he had no progression after that. He kept, like, dying in fights, getting caught out. He just didn't play uh, really a good game of, like, Storm, especially you expect that from a player like Silent. And back to the point where Cinderon was also talking about, he went Bloodstone first in when he could have gone Orchid because right. anti mage didn't have a good time. So his mental timing has is going to be late, later than usual. And we're looking at a matchup between LGD and Na'Vi, also from yesterday. They were trying so many times to combo LGD, but maybe survived with Shallow Grave, I, I would say, like, at least three or four times. They did have a really nice uh, high ground defense one time, but it was just a little bit too late. Wasn't yeah, it with Na three heroes? Na'Vi should be... I think this is where Na'Vi pushes them back. They get their combo yeah. off. But it was only three heroes doing the combo, I remember. It was the Sonic Wave and Echo Slam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there there are only three left. Yeah, there we go. Very, very beautiful combo, of course, for those three heroes, and that does keep Navi in the game. But I mean, if only there was like one more guy alive, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but still, the the problem is, even if Navi team wipe this, they are still behind in this game. I think. Like, right. They they could have made an incredible hold, but they kind of needed to do it like two, or maybe three times with the advantage LGD already gained at that point. I think. Is this is this, is this the battle for Cleave? Don't yeah, spoil it, Winter! <laughs> Winter just casually puts it up there. I think by now most people have heard. <laughs> Alright, so if you didn't see this yesterday, Ember Spear is going to get four kills with a double crit toward the end. Just wait a bit. <laughs> well, thanks. Now we don't even have to watch the clips. So. Oh, wow. Told you so. <laughs> oh, wow. The Prophet Cinder. <laughs> it was obvious. <laughs> But that made that made some rounds yesterday. Definitely one of the big talks of yesterday. MVP Phoenix with that Ember. Chalk another one up for the rapier account. <laughs>